Hello, my name is Kelly and welcome to the Paper Artiste. So today we're uh, doing Paper Making 126B. <laughs> uh, my first series I made Paper Making uh, in my video, it was very uh, primitive, but fun. Uh, and I'm going to uh, touch again on uh, making the paper flower bombs that I made. Uh, it's, uh, I made these little, uh, ephemera charms that I put on my journals and cards and gifts that I give to people and they come with instructions that they can plant them. And, uh, so last time I used, um, uh, Cosmos and Forget-Me-Nots and easy to grow flowers uh, I'm going to do the same thing because I don't have any more and I want to make some. I, I got some wildflower seeds here that I'm going to use. Um, I also have, I'm going to mix in uh, some lavender and I'm going to mix in some, I have this old fragrance oil. I just want to use it up uh, and we're just going to experiment with it. I got a couple different um, products I'm going to be using. Uh, this is some kind of a mica spray uh, because on my other pieces, um, if you can see here, uh, it's pretty dull. It, there's no shine or sparkle or glitter. And you can see the seeds that I have on there. But I want something a little bit uh, more colorful. I'm working on a project um, and it's called paper quilting and I want to be able to uh, sew and manipulate uh, the paper and I want to bring color into it. So I'm going to be using uh, different colored paper and I'm going to be using ink sprays and micas and gold leaf and anything else I can think of to use. But I also want to make the paper smoother. So I'm going to um, put it between paper and uh, roll it to make it smooth. So we are going to see how this is going to work. So please join me and let us get started here. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we are going to make some liquid starch. I have no idea if I'm doing this correctly or not, but I'm putting in, I don't know two teaspoons to a quarter cup of water, I would think. Yeah, I don't know. Sort of like making tea, I would guess. Mm -hmm. Not sure. Not sure. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's thick. Oh, my. I don't know. That's, ooh, that's, that is like super thick. So maybe we should put a little more in there. Whoa. So now we're going to bring it over to our, uh, well, I got some lumps in there. Okay. I'm not sure, but we'll just put that in there. Hopefully. Well, that's interesting. We got some lumps, sort of like gravy, eh? <laughs> uh, it's kind of see if we can't mix that up a little more. Let's see how that works. I don't know. I am thinking. Slurry. It's a slurry, all right. I am thinking maybe we should do another another little bit there. I am thinking. Oh, because that's a lot of water in that tub. I'm not sure how much water is in there, but 
quite a bit of water over there, so maybe I need to make more of a slurry. As you can see, this is an exact science here. Ah. Uh, Liquid starch. I'm thinking maybe I should have used <laughs> cold water. I don't know. If it's too much, it's too much. We'll figure it out. Okay. So in the meantime, we'll set that there. Let's add a little bit of um, fragrance oil just to make the paper smell better. And I'm trying to get rid of the uh, okay. And we're stirring it up. And we got some lumps and glumps in here. But that's okay. Guess we can get those out with our deckle, huh? And we're gonna try this. And it's pretty well sunk down in there. There's a clump. Okay. Well, maybe that'll make the paper stick better. Okay. All right. So now we're going to take our paper and we're going to immersify it. And I'm actually going to do this in the bucket because I'm pretty messy. And this might not work so well. Well, maybe not. I don't know. Let's try this. As you can see, what this slurry looks like. And this should be interesting. And put the lid on it. Okay. All right, hold your ears. Here it goes. That is definitely a oatmeal slushy. I think I'm going to add a little more water to that. We'll see how this works. Okay. Gush. That's gush. It looks kind of bluish. So. We're going to put that in there, rinse that off, and we'll see how that works. So, supplies you're going to need. A blender, a container to put your slurry in, and here's me. Do you think that's going to be enough? No. Well, we kind of want to make it thin because I want to see how this is going to work. So I think.
think the first time I did it, I just took chunks of it. But I see, I want it to kind of be like washi paper. So let's see how it works. My husband made me this handy dandy deckle thing. So you bring it up and you let it drip. I guess this is sort of like watching paint dry, right? So there it goes. And it looks pretty chunky. Uh, hmm. So now I think I just need to press the water out of it. Ugh, that didn't work, did it? Yep. That's pretty thin. Let's see if we can't reshape that, eh? <laughs> well, that doesn't work. So let's try it again. This is how you learn. <laughs> okay. So, I think that was too much paper. I think I just want a little bit, right? Is that too thin, you think? I think it might be too thin. Oh, look how it moves that. Well, can't be having that, or can we? Okay, so. There we go, here we go. So, we do know that once you do this, that you really can't move the paper too much. So, how do you squeeze off the water? That is the question. I think we take a little bit of the paper. Let's take the wax paper and see if we can do it that way. That makes sense, see? And we just squish it. It is definitely coming out. I do have to say this stuff smells pretty good. So, there we go. That's our first bit. Now let's see how it works from this station. Okay, so we take that off. And, uh, question is now I guess we take it over to here because I want two pieces of here you know what let's put this on top of that gonna come off. Don't know. <laughs> okay, so let's see how that works. Oh, there it is. Okay. Now, see how it has, it's got those, I don't want those, but that's kind of pretty though, if you can see that. I don't know if you can see that or not, but can you see the, the screen on there? Hmm. 
Anyway, I want to make it smooth. So, let's see if we can make it smooth. Bye. Oh, well, we are putting squiggle lines in there. Um, let's turn it over. It's like making pie crust. There's a lot of nice uh, color in there, though. Okay. I think I needed to, like, maybe make it take more water off of it. Ooh, look at that. That's kind of cool. It's, it's pretty wet. So, um... But it's not as smooth as I like it. I'm going to have to figure out how to make it smoother. Okay, so. Uh, that's our first piece. Not bad. Not bad. I'm going to make a few more and uh, I'll be back. Okay, here we go. Experiment number two. We are going to, uh, oops, this goes on there like this. We are going to make some now with some seeds in it. I'm not quite sure. I think maybe we'll try to put the paper on top of the paper. So we'll, we'll put, I want to see what this looks like if we put just a little bit on there. And let's see how that works. Okay. And it makes me wonder, do you have to stir it a little bit? I think you do. So get it all stirred up here. And then it makes me wonder, can you save the slurry? All right, here we go. That's kind of what I thought. So now we wait. Uh, it's going to take a little longer, I think, because it needs to, the water needs to escape. Well, that plan didn't work so well, did it? Maybe if we poked holes in the paper. That is an interest. Let's see. Let's try that. Let me get a pin and see if we can do that because that is, seems to be the issue. <laughs> Paper collaging 126B. All right, let's see if that's going to work. Because we don't want it to be too thick on there because we want to see what's underneath. So, if this is such a thing, I didn't know. But this might take a little longer. Yep, I think it might. So much for paper collaging, hey? Eh? Ah. Uh, but no venture, no gain. Let's see if we can do it through it this way. I don't think this is working. So, makes you wonder if you should put it, if you should do it this way. Take this off. Oh, that's interesting. All right, let's try it this way. Hold that on there. So. All right, this is too lumpy. We need to swirl that around. So if we do it this way, and then 
the paper on top of it. Like so. Let's see if that will work. Not sure. And put a little piece of paper on top of that then so I think I need to squish some more water off it I can feel the starch in it the it's almost I can feel the starch in it So, there's our first paper collage, and it does have the, the texture of the screen on it, but you know what? I'm going to leave that on there. I kind of like that on there. You can see the script through there. So now let's try, we'll try this bit and see how it works. Maybe it's a little bit stronger. So, you kind of got to do it backwards, which is okay. So, we'll stir it up. We'll see if the paper sticks to this. Let that gold fleck get me gone. Okay. So now we will put this on top of that. And take a piece of this paper. And let's push out some of this water. This is a cereal liner, <laughs> this plastic 
piece paper kind of works pretty good on it. So there we go. Not much in there. So now we'll take our little foam board piece, put that in there. Keep it, turn that over, and we'll set this down, plot the paper, blot the paper. Got to come up with a system. <laughs> okay. So there it is. You can kind of see the the um, scrapbook paper underneath it. Not much. So let's try to make it smooth. And so I noticed that the paper moves like dough when you uh, do this. I guess I should put it on where there's not a wrinkle and to see if we can make it smoother. Mm. is pretty pretty you can still see the screening on it so maybe after it dries for a little bit then put the paper back on it and try it again but there is the paper now the question is will it stick to it that is the question will it stick to it so there we have that. So let's make um, another piece. Uh, this has a lot of flex in it. Um, I don't know. It's got some color. This here is uh, it, this had some dye in it on the paper, so it soaked through. So let's try. A little bit of color on this and see if and of course it won't spray give it a little shimmer I don't know if you can see that on the paper hmm so we'll see if that sinks in and shines with that Let's try, this is um, Delusions, and we'll just try, give it, oh my, that's a little, that's a little bright, yeah, 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 that's a little bright, she says. How about, um, I'm not sure what color this is, oh, blue, okay, we'll give that a little, a little spray, see how that works, um, I had some blue over here. Let's see. Here's some shimmer. It's got some gold shimmer in it. And this is by... 
It's called Fresh Blueberry, and it's by Tattered Angels. So we're going to give that a... Oh, that's kind of pretty. All right. So I think I'm going to spray this one here because this has got blue uh, cardstock underneath it. So we're going to give that a little spray. So there we go. That's interesting. Maybe give it a little purple too. This is... Give this a little shimmer shine. Okay, come on. Ooh, ooh. Guess not. Got to uh, put a little hot water on that and let that sit in there. Okay, so let's get on to our next one. Let's try a little bit of string. So I think it's basically the same thing. You put the string on after the, after you do it. So let's try that. All right, here we go. Trying the string. Let's try the string. Okay. Give this a little slurry, a, a mix, and uh, who knew that paper making was so complicated, right? But how fun. So here we go, and that is... Almost like watching paint dry. Almost. So now, let's try putting the string in there. Like so. I think we need to make it a little more... Ooh, that's kind of cool looking, isn't it? Okay. All right. Uh, um, not sure how to do this, but I think we'll do it this way. Right? Not sure. So we'll press this down to get some water out of it. And press, and hopefully that's pressing in the string. So, not that, that too much of that came through, but let's see. Now, it makes me wonder, should I put another layer on top of it? What do you think? Or do you think I'll ruin it? I don't know. But I think if we don't try, nothing ventured, nothing gained, right? So, I think if we just do a slight... Ah! Yeah. Well, maybe that's better. And get the slurry on top of it. All right, let's see what it's going to do. Because I wanted the string to kind of go down in it, like so. All right, let's. This one's done. And, uh, okay. I have to try it. Well, that would be nice if some of that gold paint would go in there, huh? With that green and black, it would look pretty. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. Let's kind of take the paper off it and see. Hmm. I think that's a little bit more in there now. <gasps> Oops. Moved. Okay. So now I think we need to put the paper back on here and put this on, flip this over like so, and then sponge it. My purple has arrived. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Maybe. <laughs> it made a little noise in there. Oh, yes. There it goes. Okay. There we go. Got, our, got ourselves a little purple going on there now. We don't want too much on there. That's a pretty. So that's what happens when you let it sit and soak for a little bit. It will come clean. Okay, so I think there it is. But I am not seeing much of the string. So you must see it better on the other side. I should roll it right on here. What do you think? I don't know. All right. Oh, yeah, there, that's better. Let's take a better look at that. Now you can see the string in the paper a little better. Let's see. Oh, there we go. That's interesting. That is pretty cool, actually. I, uh, I like that. I like the string. I like the string. Hmm. And some of that flake came off on there from the paper. Oh, how. Okay, so, so far we've got the string and we have stained the paper. So now. Let's add in a few seeds and experiment a little bit more. I found some paper that I thought I would uh, play with. And so let's get started. Um, I'm going to get my thingy majiggy, stir up the slurry. I am thinking maybe I should add a little slurry to that because um, I think I took out some paper. I, so I think I'm just going to add like 
two bits of that. All right, three. All right. And then, uh, I'll stir it up. Okay. There we go. Paper slurry. All right. So now we're going to add a little bit of paper and a little bit of string. We're going to do a little bit of both. So let's get that under there and get a slur going. And as that drips dry, we're going to take um, a few pieces of this paper. I um, just to see what it does. Oh, no, wait a minute. Wait, did we want to put it that way? No, we want to put it this way. Yeah. And then put that in there. This is our collage bidding. We're going to see how this works. Uh, I, oops, there we go. Put that in there. I'm not sure how that is going to go. But we are now going to put this paper on it and press that out. And I don't know if you can hear the water coming out of that. So I'm hoping, oops, did I break that? I'm hoping that... Um, Makes me wonder if I should like put this on a towel. Maybe that will. Let's give that a go, shall we? Just to see if that makes a difference on that. I'm gonna. Try this little purple thing. I don't know if that's going to fit on there or not, but maybe if we pad that on the paper, that will dry it out even more. Let's see. Well, the thing got wet, that's for sure. So, and so, well, uh, oof, that still looks quite a bit wet, doesn't it? Get a piece that's going to fit. I need two pieces. Okay. And let's put this on top so it doesn't fall down. it up some more and let's 
give it a clunk. <laughs> it is not coming down. It is stuck on there. Okay. Let's try. Well, that was doing so good before. just need to clunk it a little more. <laughs> there we go. Don't be gentle with it, that's for sure. So you can't really see the paper through there. So that was pretty thick. So maybe when it dries, you'll be able to see it. See, this one here, you can see the script through it a little bit. The question is, is it going to, the paper going to stick to it, though? So we shall see. Here's that blue one. So we shall see. All right, so let's do a few more. I want to do some with some string. And... Here we go, put that on there, and give us a slurry, a slur, and there we go. And so it makes me wonder if I should mix the seeds in it while there's still a lot of stuff in there, so maybe put the in there. Don't know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so much for lilac seeds. That's quite a bit. Leave that in there. Okay. We'll put this on there. We'll squeeze out the water. some more bigger pieces so I can um, take the big shot, the die cutter I have, and maybe take uh, chunks of them and cut them into shapes. I think that would work too. So we shall see how that works. All right. So, oops. And so there we go. Put this over here and I think that should go in there like so. Flip that over. And press out the water. And boy, these towels, they do get wet. So, let's see if I have a couple dry ones over here. Put that in. Let's use some of these.
So we have lavender and this. Okay. see the seeds on this one yeah I think that's almost too um, let's try giving it some coffee stain what's is this coffee stain I don't know what this is nope that's not coffee stain let's try a different I have coffee stain here somewhere Coffee shop. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, that's not too bad. There we go. It's got a little shimmer to it. If you can see that, it's more like a copper shimmer, I think. I think it's a copper shipper. Oh. Okay, so next one, I think I'm going to make red because I want to use this uh, red thread and I don't have any red. I think I, I thought I'd like to do a different kind. Or I wonder if I could make some plain white ones like that and then cut them out and then paint them with watercolor. So let's make a few plain ones, and we're going to do that. Um, and I'm going to keep going, and um, I'm going to keep making paper. Um, I want to just go over here and touch base with the, the pulping. Uh, I was going to make a few of these just to show you, if you didn't watch the other one, uh, how these kind of worked. I kind of just put them down on the paper or down on the cloth and then just put these in and let the water soak through. And then, because this is really pulpy, I, I didn't add no water. Or I mean, I'm, this isn't a slurry is what I'm trying to say. It's more just pulp and it makes it real thick. So um, I guess I should have put... Oh. <laughs> let's try that again but we're going to put a little paper down so um, it makes it thick and it does take a long time for this stuff to dry uh, so I'm going to put that down in there like so and in there it goes like so isn't that a cute little basket? Okay. And and there's no um there's no uh, starch in this one. So then what I do is then I take some seeds. I just take a handful here and dip them in there like so. There we go. And that should be enough. And then just take a little bit of slurry and just kind of put it on the top to um, just kind of glue it in like so. And there it is. Then I would just let that sit for a while. Um, 
These would probably take a week to dry. And see how you get collecting water over here? Makes me wonder if I should have put it just straight down on the thing. Okay, so there we go. That's how you made those. And um, we will just pick that up and slide it on there. And there it is. The cookie cutter flower bomb. There we go. Now we'll just let that dry. I am going to put a little hole in it, though, because I want to make a charm out of it. And so... There we go. Makes me wonder if we turn it on the side, if the water will drain down. Okay, so the number two is let's make the little heart for Valentine's Day. And once again, you just take in your slurry like so. And oh, don't even need that much. And putting that in there like so. There it is. Let's make a couple of those. Um, I forgot to put seeds in that one. <laughs> Let's see if I can just lay them right on top. There we go. Mix that up in there. There we go. I think there's almost too much water in, in this one. Let's see if I can't. Uh, I need a. I need some more towels or paper towels. There we go. I almost forgot how I made these, but I think this is close to it. How I did that. And there it is. This one here, I can just poke a hole in it after. After. So I think it would be better to actually put it down in here and then. So put it down on the towel and then soak the water out. Let's try that. Yeah, that seems to be working better. And then, while your finger is still damp, put those on there like that. And those are in there. I think I'll just put a little on top of it. Wish the water out of it. Okay. All right. Look at this. We are figuring it out together. And I'm on release. Release. There it goes. There we go. Cute. Adorable. Little flower bombs. Okay. So that works better when you 
see how the difference you can see the difference in the water and how this one is pretty much dry so we're going to take these two and they got seeds in them so i'm going to hold them dry here and we'll put a little in this one oops i want to do that i'll put a little one a little bit in this one And put the one in the bunny. All right, let's see. Maybe I can tamp this down. Oh, yeah, look at that. Tamping it down. That's the key. <laughs> so add that to your list. A little dowel to put in there to tap down. the cookie cutter flower bombs okay now getting them out is a whole nother story so there it is i do like the hearts and the hearts seem to be easy there's no complicated uh, tight spots in there so here we go and tab in a few actually I think that's enough in there and then tap it down with the little dowel that works so anyway we're going to come back and i will show you the end results after they dry so this is paper making 126b with wildflower seed bombs. Okay. There we go. And uh, like I said, I will make a bunch more. Um, I'm going to dry them. And uh, we will see what this looks like. And I will do a few more pieces of paper. And... We will see how they all turned out. You basically got an idea of how this works. All right. Thank you for watching and um, stay tuned.